Hey there everybody, I am the Gerbil, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Relic Cargo Package versus the Completion Pack versus the $10 box of crystals that's always been around and gives you less crystals than what the Relic Cargo Completion Pack costs. Which one's a better deal? Let's find out. To get started, we have to just kind of look at, for $10, the baseline is 1,340 crystals in your bank. All right. But it's worth noting that the cargo completion pack costs 1,600 crystals, or if you do some quick math, $11.93 at CG values. Uh, however, the cargo package comes in at the exact same price. So the question is, is all of this relic upgrade material and energy, is it worth more or less than the crystal value of the box of crystals? Something else we have to take into consideration real quick is that the completion pack has three variable outcomes. You have a 50% chance of getting only five of the relic upgrade materials, 45% chance of getting 10, and a 5% chance of getting all 15. The odds of a 5% is the same as rolling a 20-sided die and getting a 20. In other words, very low. Don't count on it, and I'm not gonna consider it here. Okay, so if we put the contents of each of these bundles side by side, and we simply identify where you're getting more from each one, you can see very quickly that the cargo package for $10 gives you a lot more relic upgrade material, especially signal datas, than it does in the completion pack. Both of them are giving you 250,000 crystals, or not crystals, but credits, irrelevant, get rid of it for comparison's sake. However, the two things that have the most value, perhaps the three things with the most value, is the ship energy, but the electrium cards, I think is what they call, uh, conductors, and the zimbitals. These are by far the hardest things to farm in either of these packages. And you have, no matter what, you will get more from the completion pack than the cargo pack of the zimbitals, and you have a good chance, a 50% chance, of getting more of the Electriums. Even if you get less, you're only getting one less, so it's not like a huge deal breaker. But if we want to break this down and get a much, much better picture of like the per crystal or per crystal uh, per item value, I guess we should say, then we need to do some number crunching. Now, I did the math uh, from my own experiences, but I also validated my findings with a, a Reddit post where somebody did their own math. And in many of the cases, like the, the erodiums, our data was exactly the same. For some of the others, uh, I kind of took it in between based on like, like the, elect, uh, the signal data is how many I tend to farm. But basically it comes down to this, like if you want, for example, one Zimbadol card, it costs on average 175 crystals. That's if you buy it or farm it, just an average rate. So if we break this down per kit and we say 20 of these, 20 of these, 20 of these, nine of these, and so on, what do you, what does it actually cost? Well, it's approximately a value of 3,355 crystals for the cargo package not the completion. Now, yes, some of this is a little bit debatable, of course. The signal data is like, how many do you land on a roll of, or a refresh of 50 crystals? Of course, that is debatable. Uh, the energy is not debatable. You get 120 energy right for 50 crystals, so you're looking at one in a fractional refresh. So take this with a grain of salt, but it's a good baseline for comparison. Using the same numbers, though, no matter what, you're gonna see which one is better using the same numbers. The cargo completion package if you get the low roll, which is a 50% chance of getting only five, so half of you out there will get only five, the value you're getting out of it is 2,397 crystals based on these numbers. However, if you get the 10, the value is 4,500 crystals. You may be asking, why is it not double? Because you get the same amount of energy. The energy doesn't change. It's 200 cantina, 200 of the other. The cantina energy, though, is also notably worth more than the others, the ships and the uh, light side, dark side battles. So from this perspective, the 1,500, 1,600 crystal pack, the completion pack, does have a 50% chance of yielding a better result. Obviously for $10 though, you're guaranteed to be right in the middle, which is rather interesting. You're just right in the middle. But what is it, how does it compare to the box of crystals? Well, that's up to you. Obviously, 
1340 crystals is worth a lot less than 3355 in the cargo package, but how you choose to spend it is up to you. If you have the 1600 crystals lying around, you're free to play and you need relic material, the cargo completion pack is absolutely a better deal in terms of just spending raw crystals. If you have $10 lying around, I would have to say, no matter what, the cargo package is a way better deal. So I hope this helps you figure out whether or not you want to buy either of these, but uh, I will admit I have bought the cargo package more times than I'd like to admit, and I have bought the cargo completion package twice, and I'll be doing it in a few minutes. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. If you think I did something wrong or have a question, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. All right, take care. Bye-bye now.